Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. Tonight we're going to be doing a smoked bottom round. And we want to do some pulled beef sandwiches out of this. And it's just under 5 pounds, so we need to go low and slow for a very long time. We're, I'm, I'm guessing we're probably going to be around 13, 14 hours or so when everything's all said and done. Um, I do have a little trick. If, it hasn't, if you haven't already guessed it, we're going to be doing an injection along with it. Injections are a really good way to get flavor and extra fat into these lean cuts of meat. Um, we're going to be adding the fat with a stick of butter. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a cup of water and two beef bouillon cubes. Then we're going to add one stick of the melted butter, one tablespoon of Worcestershire, one tablespoon of our Zumi's barbecue rub, and one to two tablespoons of honey. That Zumi's barbecue rub, uh, there'll be a link in the description on how, how to make it. It's pretty easy. But that's also the rub that we're going to use on the outside. So we're going to have the rub on the outside and on the inside. You can even put some hot sauce in this thing or your barbecue sauce that you plan to use. If you want to use a different sauce on the inside, anything. Just, I mean, go nuts. There's not really a wrong answer here. If you do have to warm this up to get it to incorporate really well, like the, if you have trouble with the beef bouillon cubes breaking down, just make sure it goes back down to room temperature before you get the injector loaded up and you start putting it in there. You don't want to put hot liquid inside the cold meat. Now that we got the injector all loaded up, we're going to start working our way around, just go nice and slow. Something's going to squirt out every now and then, don't worry about that. We're going to actually use this to our advantage and that's going to be our binder for when we put the barbecue rub on the outside anyway. So that yeah, works out. I'm going lazy mode here and I'm going to use my pellet smoker, my pit boss. Especially since it's going to be such a long cook, I don't really feel like babysitting a fire for 13 plus hours. Uh, this time, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. The pit boss does a really good job. I, I can't say enough good things about that smoker. Um, we're, I am going to use a smoke tube, so there's going to be lots of extra smoke rolling around in the cooking chamber anyway. So I'm not really worried about that. The pit boss, we're going to be running it on it on the P4 setting because we're starting this thing late at night. It's kind of cooler out. The P settings help you keep from getting too hot or too cold. It just keeps adding pellets on a set time scale. So it's really good for cooking in non-ideal temperatures, put it that way. Um, I expect that to hold around 160 to 180 degrees over the course of the night. That's been my experience with it at least. And then when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to kick it up to 225, 250. We'll have to see where we're at temperature wise. Uh, hopefully it'll be close to wrapping. We are looking to have this thing done just before supper for when my oldest gets out of school. Kind of around then, so about 3.30, 4 o'clock. We want to have it off and resting so that we can eat it in two, three hours later for supper. So that's the plan and let's see how it works out. Come on. So we've been on for a little over 11 hours now. You can see the bark looks really, really good. We're at about 153 degrees, so we're just getting to that stall. We're gonna get this wrapped up in foil and uh, power through to the other side. We'll put a couple uh, tablespoons of butter, about, about four of them. I like to add honey in here too. I'm Wilfred Brimley and I'd like to talk to you for a Here's few minutes about our diabetes. It's nice, sweet glaze. It's, it's, it's very subtle by the time everything's all said and done. But at this point, just get it wrapped up as tight as you can. Put some on this side here, like that. Oh, and we'll get the uh, temperature probe back in, then we're gonna keep going. End, end temperature is probably going to be 205, 210, maybe even higher. Remember, it's bottom round, so it's going to be a very tough, very tough meat. So we want to get it as tender as possible. So, all right, let me get this wrapped up. Let me get it back on the, on the pit boss.
I think we'd be good with just one round. That's a foil. What do you think? If I go check on it, I'll put the other one on there. But it'll probably be all right with that, with just the one. All right, let's go back. All right, we are at 13 and a half hours. Just pull it off here. And we're probing pretty smooth in out of here. Not a lot of resistance there at all. Temperature 208. That's about where we want to be at. So we're going to let this rest for probably an hour. And then we'll cut into it. All right, bottom round's been resting for a good three hours now. We just had it wrapped up in uh, towels in a uh, cooler. It's not, it's not too terribly hot, but it is, it is definitely still warm, which that's the goal. So let's see if we can let's see if we can shred it. All right. Looks tender. Oh yeah. That's what you want right there. It's an extremely rough cut of meat. Put it in there, just turn it. Look at that. So juicy. And that injection that we had in there. Oh my goodness. He's gonna make some amazing sandwiches. You know what? Let's just get our hands in there. This is that hot. That bark is a little too scary. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So beefy. So tender. Smoky, sweet. We got all the leftover juice from the foil. We're gonna be dumping over the top of it once we put that in the uh, I always do that. I'll start shredding something and I'll get a uh, container and the container ends up being nowhere close to big enough. Let's get this bark. Look at this. Look at that. Oh man, you know it's going to be good. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That's out of this world. Really wish I could just share this with you through the screen. Oh my goodness. It is very hot though. That's another pit master bite right there. Oh man. Just melts in your mouth. Alright, I'm going to get this shredded up. We're gonna make some sandwiches out of it.